Pete, a whole new year. Uh, you're going to start it out this year with judo, right? <laughs> <laughs> hey, but I, I don't know what the uh, – actually, I think they have a uh, uh, karate guy down to uh, show some things about falling or whatever, you know. Uh, but uh, um, there's all types of uh, paraphernalia that is used to try to get teams off on the right foot. Uh, None of it can hurt. It can only it can only help. You never know. You might have somebody go and become a world karate champion from from this day on. You know? Now, starting this year, of course, the major difference in the ball club will be uh, the addition of trucks. Uh, how, how would you compare the club, you know, last year and this? Well, we should be improved if the club stays as it is. Uh, but uh, every other club is improved. And as I stated last year, uh, we're still not in the position where we can state categorically that we are in the playoffs. Uh, we're just not uh, uh, that strong at every position yet. Uh, truck will add a, a dimension that we haven't had in the past, and that is, as it's been reiterated before, is the fact that uh, he can rebound, and he'll be the first guy, I think, it'll be double figures and rebounds, and then uh, he can score. Uh, he'll alleviate a lot of pressure from myself, you know, from scoring. Uh, and he, he can intimidate a little bit by blocking some shots. But uh, still, all in all, you s we're still... A couple players away from really saying, hey, if we don't make it this year, then we'll never make it. Perhaps but one big man in the middle. Well, you know, uh, anyone you want to, you know, K Kareem or uh, Lanier or something, but they're all taken. Yeah. Uh, there's just not that many. I, I remember I was in Atlanta the past couple of weeks uh, for a horse tournament by CBS, and there was a 19 year old kid there uh, that's going to be a, soft, a sophomore in college. It was seven foot six and a half. They might want to look into him. I don't know. But I thought he was standing on the table watching. I, I went around and saw him. This guy's actually seven, six and a half. It's on, you know. They're all getting bigger, but can he move? Yeah, I don't know if he can move or not. They put him in a chair as, as he left and <laughs> wheeled him out. I don't know. Uh, this, this time around, with all the clubs improving, who, who does it look like in the division uh, that, that, that you'd have to beat to get into the playoffs? Well, our, our division is going to be one of the strongest uh, with Houston and Cleveland and San Antonio and Washington. They're all strong basketball teams, and uh, the I'd have to go with those four teams again because San Antonio whipped us like little babies last year. Uh, we uh, we've always seen to either split or so forth with Houston and Washington. We we fared well against uh, Cleveland. They they kind of whipped us easily easily last year. So from that standpoint, I, I think you'd have to go with uh, Houston, San Antonio as, as your front, and then you followed by your Washington and uh, Cleveland and, you know, Jazz and uh, Atlanta. Now you're not ruling out the possibility of the Jazz making it. Oh, no, not at all. In fact, uh, that's I'm looking forward to being in the playoffs. It's just the fact that I think you have to be realistic about it. You can't say we'll be in the playoffs. You have to get there first. A lot of talk is done, but there has to be action first, you know, and it's very difficult. I think L.A. will win it all this year. We'll, we'll stop it right with that. <laughs> Thanks, Steve.